Hey guys, Chad here, CND Garage Toys. Um, this is kind of over Christmas uh, time, being off and stuff like that. So um, I have a little extra time to do this. Um, I've been wanting to try to do the calipers on the compass a red color. Um, just to kind of add that little bit of pop behind the wheel. So uh, today we're going to be doing that. Um, so what we're going to do then is we'll end up getting these suckers painted red um kind of got the wheel off this one already so um i don't know i'll kind of show you some pictures here record a little bit as i go along and see what happens so that's our project for today we'll be uh painting the calipers on the compass red um and we'll kind of get into that and let you guys know how hard that is if it's something worth doing or not so all right, hold on and we'll uh, get back with you here in a minute. Okay, so I've got everything cleaned up, kind of mask off and stuff like that, just to try to, you know, eliminate overspray and stuff. I had these nifty bags left over from Discount Tire. Uh, I use them to, you know, keep the overspray off the compass. So I got this one up here started um and it's not looking too bad to begin with this is just like the first coat um so nothing's gonna be perfect yet probably end up putting about four coats on everything these are the brackets um you got the bracket for the front and the back and the back uh the back brackets are right here in the front so um getting everything around here got this one here over here kind of started um and that's one of those things i'm probably about four hours or so into this project this is not an easy project this is not a one day type thing uh, i think they said let the paint set for 24 hours or so so i guess that gives it plenty of time to cure and stuff um overall so far i'm liking the way they're looking um i know that was one of the complaints i got or that i was reading about this particular brand which i'm going to use or i'm using rust-oleum caliper paint just because it has a 900 degree rating um it's a little higher rating paint than like the VHT or anything like that. So um, we'll see how it holds up. But one of the complaints that I seen when I was looking online, which looking at it in person and then looking at it on the screen as I'm videoing right now, there it's two different color reds. Um, it's one of those things the video shows a brighter red than what is actually in person. So we'll see what they come out look looking like and stuff like that. But I just want to give you guys an update and let you guys know that these are working. Um, but it's, it's a project to do this. So, all right. Um, I'll let you guys know if I have any other problems. I'll stop along the way. Um, if not, I'll let you guys see the project finished here or the uh, uh, finished product here in just a minute. So, all right. Hold on. Okay, so here they are. This is what they look like mounted up. You got the driver's side done. I got all of them done. That's what they look like. I'm going to be putting the wheels on here in a minute. I just wanted everybody to see these what they look like here before we put wheels on. So. But that's what they look like, so. All right, hang on a second here and I'll get some wheels on and we'll see what they look like. Okay guys, just got the wheels and tires back on. Um, and everything I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the way everything looks so far we'll have to see how the caliper paint holds up over time um, but
but they are pretty noticeable behind there if you're looking for them. Um, it's one of those things that are, it's going to stand out. So we'll see. We'll see how things go here. Um, I'll let you guys know how paint holds up over time on these. Um, I'm just kind of having a little bit of doubts about them over time, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but I like them. I like it so far. It looks really good. Uh, so uh, I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. I'll give you guys an update on them here in a little while, a couple of weeks or so, and see how they hold up kind of in the winter time and stuff like that. So, but all right, well, that's that. We'll uh, get on to hopefully another project here sometime pretty soon. Don't know for sure what I got coming up next. Um, just gonna have to wait and see what kind of rolls along here. Um, it's one of those things, there's not a lot you can really do with a compass. So it's uh, not really rolling to an end here, but we'll uh, um, figure out something else we can do here down the line. Um, I think towards the summertime, um, I priced to have the top wrapped like the limiteds um but it's one of those things that was really pricey to have that done so probably going to end up trying to do that uh once we get into some warmer weather here um and it's a little easier to manage um but i think i'm going to try to wrap the top black um i think that'll really kind of set it off a little bit uh might do the door handles and the mirror covers too just depends on how much time i have and if i want to do it or not and just kind of see what it looks like so all right well that'll do it for painting the wheels or the uh, calipers red um i recommend having at least like a three-day weekend to do this um once again, prep is the key. Um, if you don't prep, it's, I mean, you're just wasting your time. Um, and I would make sure to have time to let it dry. Um, uh, mine have actually been sitting for two to three days now, just drying cause it's been cooler in the garage, probably 50 degrees or so. So I just wanted to make sure I got those a good chance to dry and everything. So but like I said, I'll get a, an update here in a few months or so. Let you guys know how they hold up. So, all right, we'll let you go then and we'll catch you on the next video.